but to preface it, um, something happened to Nikki and I about two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, yeah. About two weeks ago, Nikki had come over in the morning to pick up Cece. Dick was still in the hospital, and uh, and I am just fixated on this thing out the window. And at first, it, it, it snowed, and first it looked like a big, you know, my fence poster, uh, you know, post around the patio. And, and I thought, oh, it's a big block of snow on top of that post. But it, it just fascinated me. So then in a few minutes, I saw its neck moving. And I thought, what, what is this? You know, a big mound of snow. Maybe a bird's right on top, and a bird's moving its head. I, I just couldn't get over it. And then I uh, said, so Nikki, come look at this. And so then Nikki looked at it and, and came to the conclusion that it was an owl. Um, it was a big owl. It wasn't, you know. And then I looked at it again and I realized it was too. And, and we were just, we couldn't get over it. So I said, okay, if it sees us, it's going to go. So you sneak out there with your camera. And, you know, on, way on the side there so that it won't, it won't realize. And I'm watching. And I want to tell you, before Nikki got there uh, close enough to take the picture, and while I was just looking at it for a second, it didn't fall off, it didn't fly away, it disappeared. I couldn't believe it. I mean, where could it have gone? You know, Nikki was saying the same thing. Okay, so, Nikki, and, and you, you, if I said <coughs> this wrong or didn't say something right, tell him. Okay, so then today, I don't know what brought this up, but I wouldn't want to do it anyway. I said, I said, Nikki, would you just look on the um, internet? You know, I don't have time, and and find out, if, you know, if there's something like if you see a white owl, snow owl, during the day, maybe you know what it is because it was during the day. And and I said, I said, now, oh no, owls. Somebody said, oh no, they only come out at night. I think it was Cece. Anyway, so the whole thing was peculiar. <laughs> so anyway, I asked him to look look this yeah. up on the way to the funeral and um and this is what he found all right so it says uh the symbolic meanings of the owl are intuition the ability to see what others don't uh, the presence of the owl announces change the capacity to see beyond deceit and masks wisdom and the traditional meaning of the owl spirit animal is the announcer of death most likely symbolic like a life transition transition change is the meaning. Well, that. I don't know how you guys felt, but I just do immediately. It was Dick. Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not necessarily the owl, but that it was the like the. Okay, if you want to get online, and, and, well, if you're an Indian, you, you definitely believe, you know, that we all have our spirit animal too. And if you get online, then you can, you know, you can figure, you know, you. Anyway, uh, TJ's a wolf, I think. You guys already did it. What are you? Goose or something. A goose. Me and Sandy, um, Paige and I went on this retreat, and the lady told Paige she was an owl. <coughs> cool. Yeah. And what? But, and also, they are, like, you know how the eagle is so powerful? In the Native Americans, the owl is equal to the eagle. It's like the same kind of thing, so they're really powerful. Oh, well, it makes my skin crawl because I really do. And, and what what it described, I mean, I, it, it was the strangest thing because it was during the day and the whole thing was so weird. And I really you, believe it. In the picture. It in the picture. picture. It's they didn't know what it was. It was like a, 